Hello everyone and welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. Um, so today it's just a short one. Uh, I just want to show you how to create uh, roads uh, using the spline landscape uh, tool in Unreal. So uh, I'm going to show you how to basically uh, create a, <clears throat> a road that follows a spline that goes all around the landscape and you can get the landscape to uh, shape towards the road and everything like that. So I've just got this big open area at the minute, nothing really in it, just just some slight hills that I've just sculpted using the landscape tools, that's all. Um, and then what I've also got here is this road, this piece of road mesh that I've imported, so let me just show you that. Um, so I just modelled this quickly in Maya, um, I put barriers either side as well, uh, just to make it easier so I don't keep falling off. Um, but yeah, this is a, a fairly low poly uh, piece of road. Uh, it has got a few subdivisions across. I think it's got about four subdivisions across. Uh, let me see if I can show you the wireframe. Well, it's a bit difficult to see. But you, you can see there that there's yeah like one, two, three, four subdivisions across. And that's to allow it to bend when it goes around a corner. Um, it's rather than just being a solid shape, it'll actually be able to curve. So make sure your road has got subdivisions in it so that it can bend. Um, so you've got your mesh. I've just applied a couple of base textures to it. Um, but yeah, so that's what we need there. So to make a road itself, uh, what you need to do is go over to the landscape section here, the landscape tab, and then go on to manage. And then click the drop down and make sure you select edit splines. Um, and with the edit splines tool on, you'll get this little uh, sort of crosshair where your mouse cursor is. And if you hold down the control key and left click, you'll create a new spline point, which has this kind of like uh, mountain icon uh, on it. Um, so that's the starting point for our road. And what I'm going to do is just, again, do control click. And you'll see it now creates, we've got this green bar. This green bar is basically the, the road, essentially. Um, and we can control click again around and it will always snap to the landscape surface wherever you're clicking okay so create the road in the shape that you want it so I don't know, let's just do something like that and I'll, that'll do Okay, so we've got our road, but obviously there's bits here where the landscape is kind of digging uh, up through the road, but we'll sort that out in a minute. Um, the first thing I want to do is show you how to actually get your, your mesh to be used instead of just this green uh, plane that we have here. So to do that, it's quite easy. Uh, over on the details panel here on the right, you need to click on segments. So select all connected segments, and that will basically select the entire track. Um, and then you need to scroll down uh, until you find the area, this bit here called landscape spline meshes. And then it will say zero array elements. You need to click on the little plus icon to add an element. And then if you click on that zero there, you can then add in a mesh. So click the drop down and search for your road and add that in. And then there you go. That just adds it in straight away. And as you can see, it duplicates the road along the spline and has it curving. Um, we still have some landscape uh, like collision issues here, but we'll sort that out in a moment. Um, oh, speaking of collisions as well, one thing you need to make sure of is that your, uh, your landscape, uh, your piece of road has got the right kind of collisions on it. So usually by default, when you import something into Unreal, it will just scan like the overall size of the model and then stick a box around it. Um, which means that the collision box on, on this mesh would actually be like up here um, so you wouldn't be able to drive on the road. Um, the best thing to do I think for getting uh, the collisions to be nice and accurate is to simply uh, if you, in this editor here if you go down to the collision section make sure you've got collision complexity set to use complex collision as simple and what that'll do is use the model itself as its own collision box because it's not that high poly it's uh, it won't really be very taxing on the uh, on the physics engine or anything like that so this should be fine to use if you've got a really high poly model I wouldn't recommend using this at all because it will 
like really kill your memory uh so yeah just keep uh, keep that in mind but this should be fine because this model is is not very many polys at all um i think it's only about 50 or something like that um okay so yeah set that and then that will use the model itself as the collision box okay so looking back out here now um yeah let's sort out all these these little uh bits where the landscape is clipping through the first and easiest thing we can do to solve most of this issue um is going to be again to click all segments just make sure you've got all segments selected so click that segments button just there again uh, and then over on the left side here you've got deform landscape to splines and if you just click only selected you can click all splines as well if you want but if you've got other splines elsewhere that you don't want to do that then just click only selected and you'll see it's now shifted it moved the landscape automatically and sculpted it to kind of try and fit the road as best it can now there are still a few little problem areas like this corner here for example um, but generally it's it's looking a lot better so all we need to do now then is sort those little bits out so let's start by going to the sculpting tools and what I tend to do here is to use the smooth tool and just try and smooth out these bits of terrain that are sticking through uh, there's some more so smooth that out so anywhere where you see these little bits you can smooth it and sometimes it requires a bit more smoothing so you have to keep going over it again there we go and we've got some little bits here either side and that's all fine and then just got the end bit here that's it okay so generally i think that looks much better now so let's give it a little try see if we can drive along it uh, so i'm going to hit play uh, and this is using the uh, vehicle uh, the unreal template vehicle so it's going to drive along Ooh, now the friction isn't too great on the tires at the minute but still yeah we're on the road and skidding a bit but we are getting the collisions correct look so when i hit the barriers it is stopping the car which is good yeah i think this is working just fine um so yeah the the unreal car doesn't have the best uh controls uh, as in in terms of like how well the tires grip and things but you can you can edit all that kind of thing but i'm not going to go into that in this video um but yeah there we are so there's a nice simple way to make a road um and you know be able to to make the road sort of custom shapes with uh, then that's literally just having one model uh there um you should also be able to move these spline points if we go back to the landscape editor and go to manage back on the spline editor so let's say you wanted to do more of a highway um that's like elevated you could select some of these points and and lift them up off the terrain but obviously you would need to be be aware that this deform landscapes to splines uh, you don't want to press that if you've got this stuff elevated up um because otherwise it'll do okay or it won't maybe i'll do segments yeah there you go it'll do that um, so we don't necessarily want that we want to keep it like that obviously if this was supposed to be a raised up highway you should model a, a the underside of your road as well so that you, we don't have this bit here where we can see up into the sky um, and then you could uh, you could model uh, some pillars uh, that you could literally just place underneath you could perhaps even make the pillars as part of the uh, the model as well if you wanted to but uh, the only downside to that is if the uh, if you do bring the the road down back to the ground level, you're going to have some pillars that are just sticking into the floor, um, like that aren't going to be visible. So, but yeah, that's literally it. So um, 
yeah, I hope this will help uh, with you to lay roads out. Obviously, it doesn't have to be, you know, a concrete road like this with barriers. It could, it could just be like a dirt track. Um, it works in the same way. It literally just depends on what model you import with what texture on it. Um, and, and yeah, that's literally how it works. So uh, I hope this really helped and I uh, hope you can use it in your projects. Uh, that's all I was going to go for today. It's a bit of a shorter one. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.